One of the most interesting modules provided by the Nux community is Nux content. Why? Let me give you an example. Sometimes you are creating websites and on those websites, there's only static content. This static content is just written directly in raw on your HTML. Well, and you don't need necessarily to create some JavaScript interaction and stuff. You just want to put some static content such as text, videos, or images, whatever. For that, what you would do is just to create an app and write in HTML your title, your paragraph and stuff. However, one of the most interesting thing is that you could write this content in Markdown. And writing it in Markdown would be easier than writing a whole application in HTML, CSS, and to set it up, etc., etc. Nux content is providing an amazing solution for that kind of problem. Most of the websites that are written to be documentations are static content. Let's take an example. Here we've got this Nux content website on content.nuxjs.org. And this website is just static content. There's only text written down there. So what we would like to do is not to write HTML, but instead to write Markdown. And maybe sometimes we would like just to write JSON to display some website. We can do that with Nux content. With the module Nux content, we just need to add a folder called content. And Nux is going to watch our folder and translate our Markdown files into HTML pages. It will even do the routing between the pages and you will be able to change from a page to another one just by creating the file. You will not need to register any route. You will not need to do anything. It will work really easy. So what I propose to you is to create a content, uh, actually a content website, a static website with next content. So I'm going to click on get started and down there here, I got a common npx nuxi init content app. So I'm going to copy paste this, get back, and I'm going to enter in my folder. There we go. And here it's going to create for me a content application. It's a Nuxt application. So everything that you've learned inside this course will be available inside this app. So I'm going to enter in, into it. Once I'm into my project, what I can see again is that it's a very, very light project. There's only an app.view with a next page at the root. I got a page component with a slug and I got this content doc. Content doc is just the, mm, the routing system of uh, next content, uh, a built-in component provided by uh, next content that display all the pages that will be in content. And if I look in my package.json, what I can see is that as dev dependencies, I got Nuxt, I got Nuxt content, and I got this folder called content, and inside I have markdown files. I have about, I got index, and just let's run our project, and that's it. We have our website running, Nuxt content, and it says this page corresponds to the slash root of your website, blah, blah, blah. And these two pages are rendered by the pages slug.view. So here we see that we've got a slug and we've got our index. So I'm going to try to go on slash about to see. And there we go. I got this about page. And actually this about page is coming from here. So here I can write in markdown. So to write in Markdown, the syntax is really simple. You can find a lot of websites that will teach you how to write in Markdown. You may know already Markdown because you already wrote some README by the past. But here I can write content. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And as you see, immediately it's rendered. So why would we do that instead of creating HTML pages? Well, the thing is that um, if you are working on your SEO, uh, it can be very useful to create a website this way because the content here will be rendered immediately because it's just static content and there will be no JavaScript that will run inside your website. So for SEO purpose, it's amazing to use Nux content. Also, if you want to write some kind of documentation or some kind of blog, you would use that because it's easier to write here some content and to use the syntax, for instance, a title syntax 
of Markdown. There we go. As you see, uh, you could you could be way faster by writing here in uh, MD file instead of uh, working in an HTML file. Let's create a new page. Let's say that we're gonna have some kind of new file called profile.md. And here I would like, this is my profile. Hello, my name is Guillaume. Okay, I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to go to a slash in profile and I type enter and immediately my, my route has been created. So of course, this markdown is really limited. You cannot do any JavaScript or very complicated stuff into it. It's not made to create web application, really. It's more create to create some content. So another thing is that right now my website is totally empty. I would like to get some, to put some style. I would like to create actually um, some, some, just some design, you know, I would like to add some colors. I would like to add some style, etc., etc. Well, what we could do is going back to the nux.com documentation and go to the modules. And what we could do, we could add Tailwind, Tailwind as a module instead of adding it directly from the Tailwind documentation. What I'm going to do is to install this Tailwind module. So I'm going to stop. And I'm going to install Tailwind as a module. Then I will need to add it to my modules there. So I'm going to go to my Nux config. And actually Nux content is working exactly like any other module. As you see here, we've got Nux content that has been added and we've got Tailwind CSS. So you can either create a Nux content application through this Nux content uh, NPX init, or you can still add Nux content to your existing project. Okay, so I've done this. So now I'm supposed to have uh, Tailwind CSS installed. So now I'm going to type yarn dev. There we go. And if I get back to my app, I should have Tailwind CSS that is applied. And there we go. So now I got Tailwind CSS. What I can do is actually to inspect, okay, my, um, my, my markdown file that has been transformed as an HTML. And we see that here I got an H1, I got a paragraph, etc., etc. So what I can do is to create my own design system. I can right click there, create a new folder. I'm going to create an assets. And in, in this, I'm going to create a main.scss. So what I would do is to stop my server and to type npm install sas. And what I would do actually is just to type yarn dev. And I will add my SAS here file to my CSS inside my nux.config.ts. So I'm going to type at assets main.scss and I would save that. Here, what I would do is to import from Tailwind my base and I would target my layer base, which is actually the basic layer that I'm using with Tailwind on my application. And what I would do, I would say, hey, I want that my H1 would be uh, apply text uh, red 500. That's a color from Tailwind. So when I get back, we see suddenly that I got my title there and exactly it would do the same on every page. Okay, so what I could do also is just to put all this content so I can get back to my slug. And here on the main, I could say that I want to put a container MX auto there. So I would say, there we go. And what I could do also, I could add some margin on the top and on the bottom with MY4. And there we go. So as you see, now I can create my own uh, style sheet, my own design system, and then apply it to my content everywhere in my application. Again, for the routing, what I can do is just to use the markdown. So here on about, we see that I got a link. Let's go on index and let's just remove this. Let's say home. And let's say that I want to have a link that would say, go to profile in with time slash profile. There we go. And I want to style my link. So I'm going to go here and say that all links will have for instance, a color, so text till, uh, yes, let's say till 600 and underline, whatever. I'm going to save that. And there we go. And when I click, I can uh, go to the page I want with the routing system.
If you want to know more about Nux content, you can go on the documentation. You can do that with Markdown, with MDC syntax. You can also work with JSON. As you see here, you can apply some JSON. What you would do is work on YAML also. And you can work also on the displaying, on the rendering. If you have some questions about some stuff that you would do, you can go here and look at rendering, querying, navigation, etc. Everything is provided. The last thing, if you want to add some SEO to your page, because now you, we are working with Markdown, what you can do is at the top of your file, you can specify, for instance, the title of your page. So this is my Nux content uh, main page, whatever. And when you get back here, we see on the top that I got this is my Nux content main page. So if you want to work on some metas, you can add them here on the top. And which is cool also with Nux content, it's that it's really easy to deploy. It's really fast because it's just static content that will be built and rendered.